We often imagine ourselves as custodians of this planet and its most important life form. But long before humans arrived here, another living system was organizing and developing our world. Too small to see with the naked eye, microbes, also more commonly known as microorganisms or bacteria, started an extraordinary evolutionary process that led to us and all other forms of life. We are only just beginning to understand their incredible intelligence and the crucial and complex role they play in maintaining the delicate balance of life on Earth. Millions of years before we arrived, microbial colonies had developed the basic characteristics of life – breathing, feeding, reproducing and dying. Even recycling their own waste may be new to our way of thinking but not to theirs. It is them, not us, who long ago perfected solar-powered energy through photosynthesis. By translating light and heat sources into endlessly free energy, they released oxygen from water in the form of CO2 to create a breathable atmosphere in which larger life forms could survive. Endlessly adaptive and super resilient, Microbes exist in all parts of the biosphere, thriving in extreme temperatures, high in the atmosphere and deep inside rocks within the Earth's crust. All living things on our planet are colonized by, and codependent on, microbial life. Working together in highly specialized colonies, they have developed and adapted to perform very specific roles that keep our natural environmental and life support systems working. Our bodies have more than 10 times as many microbes as human cells, tailor-made to regulate each bodily function. Diverse microbial colonies exist to regulate the tiniest function of our organs and tissues. For instance, the microbes on the inside of our arm are very different to the ones on its outside. Microbes are essential to the healthy functioning of our bodies and our vital organs in thousands of invisible ways. The vast majority of microbes cohabiting with humans live in our gut, dealing with indigestible carbohydrates, extracting vital nutrients and calories from foods, making essential vitamins and amino acids, and dealing with harmful chemicals. It's estimated we each have up to 1,000 species of microbes living happily in our gut, continually working symbiotically with our bodies, producing vitamins and hormones, regulating our vital organ functions and preventing disease. And with the recent acceptance of friendly digestive bacteria in probiotic yogurt and drinks, most of us now understand how living microbes play a pivotal role in maintaining a healthy digestive and immune system. Whilst it's good news we've made friends with our digestive bacteria, there are many other types of microbe that can be profoundly helpful to us in tackling the many environmental, food and health issues we now face. For the last hundred years or so, we have waged a war of chemicals, disinfectants and antibiotics on the land, on our bodies and in our homes, depleting the microbial colonies we know so little about. In our attempt to eradicate disease, we have destroyed the very beneficial microbial colonies that protect us and the environment, inadvertently creating problems like MRSA superbugs, which can no longer be controlled with conventional prevention methods. The signs are now very clear that we must radically reassess our relationship with these most complex, adaptive and intelligent organisms. We need to find new ways to work harmoniously and cooperatively with these amazing catalysts and creators of life, if we are to flourish and protect the future of our planet.